spotted in buses. The local people do not have it. And you see the consequence of it. We could see it in the, in the Meru Stadium mm. when uh, the BBI team went there. You could see people are completely disconnected. People are burst from Laikipia, from Nakuru. That is, a, is, a, is the, the region, Mount Kenya region. Then in Kisumu, uh, Homambi, Migori, and uh, uh, Siaya, people are burst mm -hmm. again to Kisi. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, what has happened and the report that has been presented by Kalonzo Musioka and uh, Kemani Shongwa is actually a fraud. Mm -hmm. And uh, it is something that needs to be investigated. It's only that, unfortunately, ESCC, again, uh, like in the past, captured mm -hmm. by the machineries of uh, political uh, falsehoods. Otherwise, today, ESCC should be investigating how money was appropriated, who was paid what at bombers, for what intention, why is there no transparency? Who is facilitating this? In the original bombers that led to the referendum of 2005, mm. there was inclusivity of players. The referendum uh, fell. But in 2010, again, there was a lot of activities across the country coming together. And that's why you have devolution. Mm. That's why we restructured the, the executive. That's how we empowered the parliament. That's how we created constitutional commissions you know, from human rights, mm -hmm. to salaries, uh, to gender, uh, to public service. Okay, we have very many institutions that are supposed to empower our governance from 2010. This particular report from so-called, because it is not a national dialogue committee. Mm -hmm. It is not national dialogue. Mm -hmm. Let's call it what it is. This report, by Raila and Ruto team, okay? Mm -hmm. It's about creating positions. Office of the leader of opposition, yes. with the two deputies in, uh, in the parliament. I don't know how they will go to Senate, or they will go to sit in the, in the National Assembly. Mm -hmm. Then we have a, a position of prime minister. Ruto himself was a very fast person. He was very opposed to the end or pretended to be opposed to the call for a national dialogue. But he was the first yesterday in church to say, I have seen the highlights of this report, and therefore they, they are welcome, will I endorse them immediately. He, because he said the report is good for the country. It's good, when did he read it? Then Raida today was saying somewhere, I think he was in Kisumu, yes. he was saying that he has not read, they are going to convene on Wednesday, mm -hmm. the day after tomorrow to give a report. Mm -hmm. The truth of the matter, because we live in this country yes. and uh, we, we know the contours of this country, mm -hmm. is that they know what is in that report. It is them who wrote it. What was happening at uh, Bomas and elsewhere was just uh, motions. So, in order to happy, uh, mm. in order to, to deceive people mm -hmm. or mislead the people. So, didn't it, as we go to Mandamano, mm -hmm. what was the cause in Mandamano? There were two things, electoral theft or electoral fraud or issues to do with the presidential elections last year yes. and uh, the question of uh, cost of living. Mm -hmm. But when the, the list of issues to be discussed was presented, the cost of living matters were mm -hmm. sidelined until we made a national outcry, mm -hmm. and then it was included. Today, it is absent. Mm 